Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. Kyle Kuzma is currently a free agent. Let me tell you guys why his former team that drafted him, the Los Angeles Lakers, really should make a significant push to sign Kyle Kuzma. First and foremost, the Los Angeles Lakers front office need to go to Kyle Kuzma and KCP for that matter and say, I'm sorry for the absolutely objectively in hindsight and foresight horrible trade that moved KCP and Kyle Kuzma to the Washington Wizards more or less for Russell Westbrook, somebody who is already proven at that point in his career. He really cannot contribute to a championship roster when KCP and Kyle Kuzma had not only proven proven to be very valuable championship pieces as I would argue on the 2020 Lakers not only were KCP and Kyle Kuzma the third and fourth best defenders on that team outside of LeBron James and Anthony Davis not only that but Kyle Kuzma was the third best player overall on that entire team and KCP no doubt in my mind was the best three-point shooter on that team that trade really was detrimental to the Los Angeles Lakers and is one of the central Central reasons why they have not been able to go back to the NBA Finals since the bubble. But Kyle Kuzma, of course, ever since being moved off from the Los Angeles Lakers, has really taken a step up in terms of his production, and his efficiency really has not dipped. He's a guy who has about league average efficiency. The thing is, I think that could get significantly better under a new era with the Los Angeles Lakers. Kyle Kuzma really over the past two years has been given the key to the Washington Wizards offense, which I think is a positive for him. He's really let his wings grow into a very good player. 21.2 points per game this last season on 44.8% from the field, which is about league average. The thing is he shot 33% on threes on 7.5 attempts per game. So if all Kyle Kuzma does is shoot a couple less threes a game more efficiently, which he's done in LA in his last year with the Los Angeles Lakers. He shot 36% from three on less attempts per game. So if he really just dialed back his game a little bit, he started playing winning basketball. Kyle Kuzma would not only be the second best defender on the Los Angeles Lakers at this point, which is so valuable considering the significant task that Rui Hachimura got in the playoffs. All you would have to do if you were the Lakers is remove Rui Hachimura from those defensive assignments, insert Kyle Kuzma, and Kyle Kuzma is a much better defender than Rui Hachimura at this point in both of their careers. But more importantly, it is the scoring. The Los Angeles Lakers with Anthony Davis and LeBron James, two guys that you cannot have exert an insane amount of energy in the regular season anymore. You just cannot be relying on Anthony Davis and LeBron James to be giving you 30 a night to get through the regular season. You really need a consistent 20 point per game score alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I keep stressing this on this channel and you just cannot rely on the other guys on the Lakers roster because they simply have not proven to do so. Now, Austin Reeves, of course, has his stretches of doing this, but he's still somewhat unproven. Same with Rui Hachimura. He's flashed the potential to be a 20 point per game score. Same with D'Lo, but I just don't trust D'Lo at this point. So you bring in Kyle Kuzma, a guy who is a proven 20 point per game score on pretty solid efficiency. Again, you make him dial it back a little bit with the shot attempts from three point arc. You make him more of a driver more of a guy who's going to make really nice cuts to the basket and then he's going to get much more open three-point opportunities much more catch and shoot from LeBron James passes. Whereas in this past season with the Washington Wizards, it really was Kyle Kuzma creating his own shot on the perimeter, which he can absolutely do, which is going to be a nice positive to really take the pressure off of these superstar players in LA. Then you go into the postseason with a really nice big three. Now, do you need LeBron James and Anthony Davis to step up in order to not get swept against the Denver Nuggets? Yes, they certainly did not play as well well as Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic did and they will have to play about 95% of what they gave the Denver Nuggets in order to beat them next season. But something that is equally important is that you get really valuable production out of players 3 through 10 in your rotation. And that just did not happen in this postseason run for the Los Angeles Lakers. So if you bring in Kyle Kuzma, in my opinion, in a potential rematch against the Denver Nuggets, 
I believe Kyle Kuzma would be the fifth best player in that entire series. Yes, I do think Kyle Kuzma is better than Michael Porter Jr. at this point. Kyle Kuzma basically does every single thing on the basketball court better than Michael Porter Jr. except for three-point scoring. All in all, bringing in a borderline elite wing defender that averages 20 points per game, if he could dial it back a little bit with his shot attempts and become slightly more efficient, this would be a perfect pairing alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And just to end the video, a nice pitch to make Kyle Kuzma, hey, do you want a four to a five-year contract? Well, two years into that contract, LeBron James might retire. So that means the keys to the organization and the keys to the scoring realm for the Los Angeles Lakers is going to go to Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma. So Kyle Kuzma realistically can be a guy who has the opportunity to be a 25 point per game score in a couple seasons with the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks for listening, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you like to see a reunion between Kyle Kuzma and the Los Angeles Lakers?